Yes, few indeed would argue with that, John. But do our actions or even reasonings mirror our mental assent? That's the problem. All for one, that's my advocacy today. I'm saying we're all in this pepper soup together. Listening to a recent discussion on the participation of women in politics, it was apparent that the flavor of the conversation was that women are their own worst enemies. They fail to put up when given the opportunity, so essentially they should quit whining and shut up. Oh, really? So let me pose this question. Are we happy with the caliber of men, women, young or old politicians that present themselves as options for the people's endorsement? Do we see thugs or technocrats vying for the most noble offices in the land? At this point, I want to table as evidence what I have captioned Exhibit 1. The fact that we're only just hearing of our president's condemnation of the barbaric killing of a woman leader of the People's Democratic Party, Mrs. Salome Acheju Abu, who was burnt to death in Ochadamu, Ofu local government area of Kogi State. The killing was being referred to as an allegation, but since the condolence visit of the governorship candidate of the Social Democratic Party, Barista Natasha Akoti, the word allegation died a silent death. Barista Akoti made a significant statement, and I quote, humanity stands before party leanings. Nobody deserves to die in such a horrible manner. We and the entire Nigerian women are with you to make sure justice is served. So I ask again, do we see thugs or technocrats vying for the most noble offices in the land? I should rest my case at this point, since what I hear resoundingly from all quarters of our great nation is that essentially politics in Nigeria is currently a game of thugs. Nonetheless, to couch my point, I will emphatically say this. The reason we don't see women participation in the political space, which would be the long awaited game changer, by the way, it is because of the, the godfathers and career politicians who are more interested in self-help than people, people's service. The decay of Nigerian politics and its distinctly unrepresentative brand is not a woman problem, it is all our problem. It is ironic or perhaps symbolic that against such a social and political backdrop, we're commemorating the elimination of violence against women, November 25th. So my advocacy is that first and foremost, we, have to, we need to have a change of mind. We need to stop separating issues and appreciate that we are all in this pepper soup together. Then we need to take a leaf out of Barista Akwoti's book and stand against the injustice of others via a social media protest. Let us each take a stand today. Start with hashtag justice for Salome Acheju. Post and keep posting till they get the message. I've done mine. An injustice against one is an injustice against all. All for one and one for all. That's what I say anyway. If you post and keep posting and keep posting, if we do not stand up against it, we will just post and it will end in posting. No, but you see, that's where I, I disagree. Because that um, pension thing, I think it was the social media outcry mm -hmm. that led to this, this quick withdrawal. And if the social media it, has no. not been effective, why are they developing the a social media? Yes. Why are they really want the social media? media. Yeah, they, they, they are afraid. Yeah? They are, yes. But. Hashtag this. Mm. Hashtag you keep mm -hmm. posting. Bring hashtag. back our girls, yeah. How, exactly. So we posted hashtags. Some people even used it as campaign at the end of the day. As I speak now, the girls are still there. No, so what I am saying is we should, we should go beyond the hashtags. We've done hashtags enough. I don't know if we have. If we have, we have. As we in have. Uh, United if, behind if, the if, cause if, and pushed it and pushed it till it was Kine a global phenomenon. And Victoria had sat down at home behind their phone and hashtagged, they wouldn't be here. There's need for us at some point in these things to Get stand up, up leave our comfort zone. Yeah. and do something, push for something. Yeah. You heard those uh, ladies that we are singing, who no want your yabelo, ta, 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 ta. They stood up, they didn't sit behind their phone to hashtag. Like uh, Bob Marley said, those that are against us are not hashtagging, they are out there. And, and so we also need to, at some point, well, I believe, yes, there are a few things to hashtag, but at some point we need to leave this hashtag and move out there. You saw the boys also on, on, on this point, running up on this point, so that I hit the floor. Some people also went to the DSS to say, look, we are here. Release Shore to us. Why the rest of us were hashtagging? They went to the DSS office. At least that's a statement. Even if the DSS had thought that Nigerians were just going to fold their hand, they would know that 
not everybody would fold their hand. Because if we do that, a time will come when you realize that, look, you can't kill everybody. Yeah. You can't jail everybody. But if you will leave a few and then the rest of us are hashtagging, then they will just wipe out those few, those few. and then the rest... Okay, like, I uh, disagree, but let, let other people no, speak. No, 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 I, I agree with, like, I agree with liberals that online action, online tweeting has to be matched with offline action. No, that I agree with. You know, the for you to create that kind of momentum momentum and influence change in a way that is also sustainable because there is always a disconnect between online this is what they call them online you can be a warrior you can write anything keyboard warriors you know keyboard warriors but out there is like audacity coming out of the keyboard and coming to match Whoever you're challenging face to face mm -hmm. is an audacious Actually, act. No, Victoria, let me just make and this point, but let's check that one. That, yes, that I, I have two points to another make. Yeah. Level of yeah. Yes, I have two points to make. One is to do with numbers. Uh, that's still this online offline thing. Mm. If I am if I'm followed on Twitter or Instagram by four million people, I can I can I can keep to online because when I say something, mm. too many people will get it. I'm repost and 12 million will get it in no time and before you know it i'm even talking abroad as well mm -hmm. then i'm denting the image of that organization i'm attacking yeah, yeah. whether it's government or a private yeah, institution yeah, so that works to that extent you know where people who are influencers as they call them mm -hmm. are, can be quite important mm -hmm. if you are an influencer for the right reasons mm -hmm. uh -huh. then there's chronology of things that things have to happen with time what liberals is saying is correct, that yes, we must go out and fight. Mm. But there will come a time when there will be enough fighters. Mm. At the moment, there aren't enough. And the system is set up in such a way, therefore, that a the few people who would go and start chanting outside the DSS office can be taken down mm. easily. And so that's where the rest of us don't want to go there and be taken down. Mm. That means that we need, we need time. Mm. It's, it's going to take, look, this thing could take us 20 years, you know. Wow. Sometimes we shouldn't you behave like, okay, let's no. Let's Things change fast. Technology no, just like the social media. Yeah. So yeah, we have the change can come with media. a surprise. Okay. In the, in the, uh, yes. the actions mm. liberals was talking about. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Because you have to use that to get to people. Yeah. Otherwise, I won't just be in my house or in front of my house if somebody comes in and say, hey, let's go and shout at the government's house. I won't yeah. go. I need yeah. to understand what he's talking about yes. first. Yeah. So it's important we still have to use the yes. social media yes. to achieve any other gathering. To, because you can to use get it the mass, to be, critical oh, yeah, mass. Get the mass. And also be able to organize it so that it will be rowdy. Yes. Mm -hmm. If yes. you just get people, then it will be to similar things that happen at the shop. Yeah, I mean, thank you for that. I, and thank you. Because I, uh, the yeah. point I was going to make is that I find that my own acts to grind with the whole Nigerian situation, that a lot of us are frustrated, but we don't seem to have a collaborative mentality. So people are individually complaining about things, mm -hmm. but they're not coming together. Mm -hmm. So I said, and a lot of times when you tell them, okay, let's go and protest, they're worried for their safety. So I said, okay, at least commit, do make one commitment. It's like when they say in churches, put up your hand and stand up. Then you. So the hashtag is like the first step. At least the hashtag, show a concern for Mrs. Achedu's um, remembrance. Mm. If you put that on your, your, your thing, it drives visibility, drives awareness. Mr. Okay. Koti, if she hadn't gone there, they were already calling it an allegation. She's gone there now. And I feel that the weak point of our government, as they are, because they're cowardly, they don't want to be embarrassed. They don't want to be shamed. Absolutely. Social media does that to them. Yeah. That's why they're That's why they need media. To, yeah. So they need to be brought out into the open yeah. and expose some of these things they're doing for what it is. And, and to, you know, to you're being greedy, you're this, being, eh? you know, you to, expose to it. add to this, you, you, I salute... I salute women like you that come out to speak up. I've had cause to in invite, you know, women to programs like this. They'll tell you, um, mm. I can't, or they give you 1,000 and one reason why they can't do it. In some cases, it's always a man's thing. Job, yeah. mm -hmm. and, and so, we, you look at, in spite of the many opposition against um, Natasha Akboti's mm -hmm. candidature, yes. including those where right before the INEC chairman, the right before the Inspector General of Police, mm -hmm. how she was beaten. beaten. beaten yes. She's still too tall. Mm -hmm. and, and so that should also stand, act as you know, a catalyst mm -hmm. for so many other women Correct. to inspire them Correct. to come out also and stand for you know, what is good. Mm -hmm. We remember like we always say, good old days. He took the Abba women yes. in 1929 yeah. to stand against oppressive tax regime mm. yeah. of the colonial masters who had blacks collaborators. 
you know? Being so, a vocal woman is very lonely. Mm. Right, you right, know, right, it's, right, you're, right. It's hard, it's hard yes. whether you are talking at public events, whether you're attending mm. pop conferences, yeah. whether you are okay, holding okay. cup shop. Yes. It's, it's rare to find Many female few, voices yeah, yeah. that are willing to come out to discuss daring issues. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, but we need the encouragement of men. Uh, yeah. I wish there was more time. Well, the expression standing together implies that we first have to take a stand individually. So I agree with my fellow pan panelists. We're all about civic responsibility after all here on The Advocate. So keep your comments coming in on our social media platforms on Facebook plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to www.plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. We look forward to next week's edition where once again we get to rub minds with you, same time, same, same channel. Till then, let's keep advocating for a better society. Bye bye. Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. Mm -hmm. The moment Impressed. you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this is that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy was it's a very, very, <laughs> terrible strategy. Because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news, and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news.